Hey, it's Next It Justin here today, and today I want to help you out with a little bit of prompt engineering on how to make board minutes or meeting minutes for anything. Now, in Microsoft Teams or in Slack or in Zoom, you can use Microsoft to transcribe your meetings, but what I want to show you is how do we document these meetings in case you have a quarterly board meeting that you have to write for, in case you're a manager and you want to make sure that you have everything written down properly, in case you need to report to the state or to shareholders, whatever position you're in, my job here is to show you how to use AI best for your position. Um, I start with ChatGPT on this channel. I have another channel too of Next It Justin, where I show everything for every single role out there. But this is what I'm going to show you first. I'm going to show you as if you were a owner of an S Corp or an LLC and you needed to take board minutes. Just think about how you can apply this to your job. So, you know, uh, tedious tasks usually would have to be you going to something like rocketlawyer.com or you creating a template of minutes and then having it signed. Now with ChatGPT, it's super simple. So say, uh, today I need you to make meeting minutes and then put whatever state you have for the state of California for a S Corp, I need you to put in the owner, the vice president, and the COO. Uh, ask me any questions you need to fulfill this duty and make it legal. Okay. So now I'm, I'm prompting it not only just to go ahead and write the document for me, but it's going to ask me the questions that I may need. This is a game changer for me because before I would just try to make the document and then I would keep engineering it. You can actually have any of these language models ask you the questions that it would need. Now it can fill in the blanks and you can have it be done for yourself. But when you at, when you have it go one through eight here, I can just type in the answers and make it easy. So the meeting type, I'm going to, I'm going to call this a sh uh, shareholder meeting. Now, as I type that in, instead of just typing out the rest of the answers, I want it to re-ask me all of the questions according to the shareholder meeting. Because if I start answering all of these different things and it was a board of directors meeting, but it didn't give me the right questions for a shareholder meeting, then I may have to do it again. You have to kind of, you know, finesse this a little bit. So I'm gonna put shareholder meeting, make sure to ask me the right questions for this, and then try this as well. Um, try and ask me the least amount of questions you need and fill in the blanks yourself. Okay, so now instead of having you ask me a question, let's see what it comes back with. Here's what here's here's what it needs basically. So date and time. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it today, which is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I'm not wearing green. So if you find me, you can pinch me. Uh 317 is the date. Number two, owner's full name. I'm gonna call it next. It Justin. Uh vice president's full name. I'm gonna put chat back. And then COO's full name, Batty Chatty. And then the main things. So this this is where it's a game changer too. When you're doing some sort of escort uh board shareholder meeting or board meeting. You really have to define what's in there and then how it's voted on. So I'm going to put very simply, here's the things we discussed, uh, how to launch a YouTube channel, what budget to put in and how much to invest in other social media. Okay. Now let's see what <clears throat> it comes up with that. Boom. So. Before, what I would have to do is I have to go to Rocket Lawyer or to have to grab a template and, and write in all, the, all of these things here. So now I can have it write me out the minutes, the exact legal framework of the call to order, the roll call that I have to follow, agenda items, and everything else. So we can talk about what we invested in, what our social media is, our resolutions. And now, as I have it here, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to have it make sure that I can follow this process myself, because what if I don't know how to hold a meeting? So thank you. Can you please fill in all of the details like the date for me and the company is next IT. 
then turn this into a Word document for me. Check this out. This is where it gets really cool. Next thing I need uh, is a list of things I need to remember for this meeting. Like how do I start it and any formalities I'm not thinking of. Last is also give me a quote to really inspire my team at the beginning of this to launch this new social media campaign. Okay, so now I'm giving it a lot of different things. I, I'm gonna leave in this uh, misspell as well because you know I wanna see if it can figure that out, which it's really good at doing. I'm gonna put this all in here. So it should give me a Word document. It should give me any formalities that I need to do for the meeting. And then hopefully it gives me a really good quote relevant to me being an IT company or relevant to the social media company as well. So we're about to find out right now. Sometimes this goes well, sometimes it doesn't. This is part of the prompt engineering. Uh, it tells me this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download this and I'll put it over here on the right once I figure out if it's gonna open. Okay, so checklist for the meeting. Start with the strong opening statement. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to officially call this meeting to order. So whether you're a vice president, owner, HR, if you don't know how to do something exactly in your role, you can download the documents yourself. You can actually have it prepare the meeting for you. You can do the roll call and you can do everything exactly as you should. So what I'm gonna do here is follow all of these prompts as I'm going, and then it gives me an inspiring opening quote. Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Now, the moment of truth, I'm gonna pull up the document and let's see how it did. And here we go. Boom. All right, so this is awesome. Just like how I would need it to be to put into our corporate books, you can see it gives me the name of my company, the shareholder meeting, everybody who was there, the agenda items and resolutions. Very easy, super clean. It already knows that I like the color blue and that the color blue is for me. It did it itself. I also can go inside of here on Copilot and really adjust this as well too, but I just wanted the short five minute video to show you how you can create any sort of meeting agenda, corporate notes inside chat GPT. Tell me what you want to see on AI. I can show you pretty much anything for any role, whether you're an HR person, accounting, a president, a CFO, an investment firm, anything that you do, I can show you how to automate every single task or to do simple things like this to save you a lot of time. Anyways, I'm Justin from Next IT. I look forward to talking to you. If you ever need IT or cybersecurity, we're the team for you. I'm one of many here. I'm the least intelligent technician of all. We have so many great people. We want to work with you. Talk to you soon.